Welcome back to another video you guys and today I'm introducing the next franchise um, series that I'm going to be doing on this channel and that's going to be the one with the Baltimore Ravens. The way I got the Ravens was uh, I did this online dice game thing so like I numbered a whole bunch of teams randomly and whatever number I got with the dice was the team I was going to get and I got the Baltimore Ravens. So it's kind of funny because I don't really hate them, but I like them. But this year I'm going to be doing a different thing, though. I'm going to be um, playing as the owner this time because I want to rebuild their stadium. I want more control over that stuff because I want to give them a nicer stadium. Maybe with a dome, maybe not. We'll see. Um, but anyway, we're going to have to get into this. Definitely started at preseason. I could have created my own owner, but I just figured why not just use the one that they already have. Steve Bis Bis Biscuits. I don't even know his last name. I just call him Steve Biscuit. So we're going to go ahead and get this rebuilding process done. Uh, you see, we we can't even ro relocate, but I'll, I won't even do that. We don't need to do that. We'll just rebuild the stadium. We'll see what options are presented, and whatever we do uh, is what we'll do. I'll also leave it up to you guys um, in the comments when the time will come. So whatever you guys want me to do, I'll do. But let's take a look at our roster, what we got to work with in the first season. You see Joe Flacco is going to be the quarterback. I don't know if he's going to be our future QB in terms of the next year or the year after that. I mean, he's getting up there in age, and he's, I don't know, he's just, like, he's not the same QB that he was when he won the Super Bowl in 2012. But we'll have to see what we do there. At running back, we have Terrence West, uh, and then Kenneth Dixon, the rookie out of Louisiana Tech. Uh, I like both of them, but we really don't have a guy that can run fast. Nobody's even over 90 overall speed. Everyone has 87 or lower. Or actually, 88, because Javarius, Javarius Allen has it, but I'm probably going to end up cutting him. So we'll definitely have to sign a guy that can actually run fast with speed up in like the 92 or higher range. At fullback, we have Kyle Juszczyk, 89 overall. He's very good. At receivers, another interesting um, thing that we have going on right now. Steve Smith, this is probably going to be his last year. I think he's going to retire after this season because he's 37. So don't expect him to be back. Uh, and I want to develop more young guys because my whole goal is to make this the youngest team in the NFL and just move on from there. Um, Brashad Perryman, though, he's probably going to be where we start off with. He was the first round pick for the Ravens, but they have not really gotten a chance to use him because he was injured all last season. So this year, he's probably going to start over Kamar Aiken, who's an 80 overall. But either way, I'll still let him play more. So expect to see a lot of him. At tight end, at the tight end spot as well, we have a ton of guys. I'm just going to end up cutting most of these guys. Because um, I want to really develop Max Williams, who was a draft pick for the... Ravens as well, and Benjamin Watson will be our tight end. Uh, Ronnie Stanley is the first round pick for the Ravens that this past season. He's 81 overall. He looks pretty good, so not much changes there. We're just going to try to build the line around him and the best left guard in the NFL, which is Marshall Yonda. And below Marshall, Marshall Yonda is probably the smartest left guard in the whole NFL, maybe even the whole play, or out of all the positions, John Urschel. Like, if you guys have even seen the commercial he's had with J.J. Watt, this guy's just all brains. So... We'll probably end up starting him at right guard uh, over the other guys that we have. But at uh, center position, we have Jeremy Zutta. He's an eight-year pro once again, just getting up there in age. But I'm not worried about having our O-line young because I feel like the older they are, the better they'll be. Right guard, Vladimir Ducassi. He's probably going to be our second guy. And then we, uh, at the right tackle position to clo close off this offensive line, we have Rick Wagner, who's 81 overall. He's pretty young. At our defensive event spot, you see Timmy Jernigan, two-year pro out of Florida State, over 300 pounds. Because the Ravens play a four-linebacker-like type of technique, he'll be mainly in the inside, so it doesn't really matter if he's huge in size. He's basically a defensive tackle for us. And then Lawrence Guy is going to be our right end. Um, I think we'll just end up probably getting a guy like in the draft or in free agency after this season there. And then Brandon Williams, we're also going to build us our defensive line around him and um, Pierce as well. Pierce is a rookie, he's 78 overall, and then you see Brandon Williams is 81 overall. So these guys are young, they'll develop even better. Uh, at outside linebacker, as you guys can see, there's Elvis Dumerville. He's getting up there in age as well, uh, 83 overall, 32 years old. That's We'll probably let him go at the end of the year. I mean, he also has a decent amount of cap on him. At linebacker, though, the center of the defense, the guy that really we're going to build the whole defense around is C.J. Mosley and Zachary Orr. Mainly Mosley because he's a beast. He's 88 overall, and then Zachary Orr, he's just the backup linebacker. Um, but he's basically going to play every game because of the four linebacker technique. And then there's Terrell Suggs as well. He's getting up there in age, but I think he'll have 
a lot more left in his tank than Elvis Doomerville will, so we'll definitely keep him after this season. Jimmy Smith, the starting corner, he's 28. His age is fine for now. Tavon Young is a guy I'm really excited about in developing. Only downside is that he's 5'9", so we might move him to the slot at some point. Uh, we'll have to see what we do, and guys like Kyle Arrington are probably going to get cut, and we just have to clear up some of these guys at the bottom of our cornerback spot. At free safety, you see Ladarius Webb, who used to be the corner for the Baltimore Ravens. We'll definitely keep him there for now. He's 30 years old, so once again, another guy that's getting up there in age. Not really fast. I love my free safeties to be, like, high up in speed. His speed is only 89. And that's a problem because usually that's the last line of defense and I need him to have a high speed, so look for us to probably be drafting a free safety as well. I'm just going to try to get as many draft picks as I can uh, after this season and just sort of rebuild into a more um, playoff-ready team. At strong safety, Eric Weddle, he's not going anywhere. Even though he's 31 years old, he's 93 overall, so he's looking still pretty good. Once again, the speed is down, but I think we can deal with that. He's not really going to be playing much over the top. Uh, Justin Tucker, one of the best kickers, we'll keep him. He's only 26, and then Sam Koch is our punter. So to get this whole cutting process started, we're going to start off by cutting Mitchell Henry, the tight end, Darren Waller, the tight end, uh, and then I'm going to end up trading Dennis Pitta, something I was kind of iffy about, but I really want to develop uh, Croc Crockett and what's his name, um, Max Williams, and let Benjamin Watson be the starter, let him play out his last season. So looking through all the teams that wanted him, you see the Broncos popped up, but I ended up deciding to give him to the Giants. Uh, taking a look at their tight ends, what they got going on, 72 overall all across the board, so Dennis Pitta being 78 overall will be a much better improvement for them, and the Giants are more playoff ready. Here we tried to get a third round pick, that didn't work out, so we're just going to go ahead and offer something a little bit lower, or ask for something a little bit lower, and that's going to be a fourth round pick. And as you guys can see, they're going to accept it, which is perfect, because now we get an extra draft pick, and I'll use that maybe on another position need. So these are going to be the tight ends that we work with for now. I don't know if I'll cut another one. Maybe I will. Our offensive line is looking well, so I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm just going to focus on the cornerback spot now, because we have way too many, and we need to let go of some of them. Um, just taking a look at the first guys that I'm probably going to cut. The first one will be Eric, Kyle Arrington. He has 86 speed, which is very bad for a cornerback spot. I don't want him there like that. Um, and then Robertson Daniel, another guy I'm going to cut. He's only 60 overall. So Sheldon Price, another guy I'm going to cut. And then Gerard Powers, I'm also going to end up cutting. Who's 70 overall, but once again, his age is getting up there. I also cut Dust Dustin Vaughn and Javorius Allen. I'm going to try to get a different quarterback, one that can work better for us, and then a fast running back. Um, seeing some of these veteran free agents right here. You see we have some good guys, but I'm not worried about that. I'm just trying to figure out what we want to do with our team. So Johnny Manziel, I was thinking about offering him in a contract, but it's just too risky. His awareness is really bad. It's 55, so just not worth the risk. But I ended up deciding to grab Taj Boyd. His awareness is awful, but I've seen him play before in real life. I think he's pretty good. So we'll just give him a shot maybe in the first two games. If he does well enough, then we'll maybe keep him. If not, we'll probably let him go. Taking a look at the running back spot as well, you see Arian Foster, the veteran running back, could sign him, but I'm not going to go do that. We're just going to try to find a guy who's young and fast. Really high speed, like 92 or higher. And after looking through all of them, I decided to go with Dree Archer, 59 over. I didn't even, I totally forgot about this guy, but his speed is insanely high. It's 96, acceleration's good, so we'll actually give him some carries at running back as well, receiving the ball. Uh, returning kickoffs, all that good stuff. But anyway, that's just pretty much what we're going to work with in the first preseason game. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, sub, and comment. It's RNF here. God bless all you guys, and I'm out. Peace. Week 1's coming next.